pitkästä aikaa oikein hyvää päivää ja tervetuloa jälleen HK Arenalle. Hetken kuluttua tällä viikolla itse asiassa viikon loppuna pelataan pitsiturnaus ja näin saadaan tämä kiekoton kausi päättymään ja kiekkokausi virallisesti käyntiin. Jatkoajan keskustelu palstoilla oli lähtenyt käyntiin tämmöinen positiivinen vyöry ja ilmiö. Halutaan tukea ulkomailta hieman eksoottisimmista jäkekkomaista tänne Suomeen tulevia pelaajia. Ja täällä TPSn kaikkein pyhimmissä ollaan nyt luovuttamassa sitten tällaiset kubepaidat. Charles Bertrand and Mr. Kumliauskas. Here we go. Näin on T-paidat vaihtaneet omistaja. Okei, okay. täällä ollaan ja meidän uudet ulkomaan elävät ovat ensimmäistä kertaa haastattelussa. Aloitetaan sillä, että vedetään matto alta nyt niiltä, jotka haluavat jatkuvasti kinata siitä, että miten nimet äänetään, joten omalla äidinkielellään. Charles, you first. Charles Bertrand. And you. Tadas Kumelauskas. Niin, että siitä saitte. Tehkää perässä. Harjoittelemista riittää itse kullakin. Okei. Okay. Um, you got your first dip in the TPS team. How does it feel? How do you, Charles, think that you are um, getting along with the guys? Oh, we're getting along uh, really well. Uh, we have been practicing uh, already off the ice with the guys and... Uh, Everything went really fine, and uh, we know we got the support from uh, the fans too. Like it's really, it feels really nice to get welcome like this this way. So thanks, thanks to the fan for the, all the support for us. And uh, guys are really great guys too. So it's easy to to uh, get along. Well, your first impressions in the TPS team? Uh, like everything here is good. I, I very like here. All the guys friendly. I hear that about fans. Very nice too. Like it's very interesting for me. It's first time, you know. So I'm very happy to be here. So how did it feel to come to Finland? And first of all, how did you choose Finland, or did Finland cho- and TPS choose you? Like we talked with general manager, manager of TPS, like, and he, like he, I know my English is not very good to. Don't worry about explain. it. Like just have conversation he uh, called me to try out here now i'm here trying to make a team well good luck with that charles this is your fifth season in finland am i right you started uh, in rauma one two three four yeah i think so four, fifth yeah That's yeah two seasons in the Lukko juniors and two in the league yeah so how did it feel to move from rauma to turku Oh, it's. Uh, I think like I did my time in Roma. I had a really nice time there and good organization. But uh, last year was kind of difficult for me, so I needed a new challenge. And uh, I think uh, Turku is great opportunity for me. So I'm really happy to to be here and uh, exciting about playing games for Turku. Okay. Um, what kind of feelings and memories do you have from Turku, from Mohoko Arena? Now, when you were playing in Luko jersey? Oh, it was always really tough games. Many times, uh, most of the time it went with the overtime, so... Or oh, Brankari, I don't know if you say, yeah. So, it was really nice and I'm looking forward to having uh, good and uh, nice feelings on the ice here. Yeah, always, we are all waiting for the first Luko game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's true. Okay, um, how do you see and feel about the Lithuanian hockey standards if we think about the Lithuanian national team where do you think that the team goes I don't understand whether the national team of Lithuania so do you think that it's um, getting better or staying the same like few years not not few years about five years ago we have chance to go to elite division but they lost to Austria and we were second in first division and now like four years like we we just arriving in the first division fifth sixth place so it's very hard now time for Lithuanian national team maybe it's uh, all the best uh, players have gone uh, like, uh, to finland maybe <laughs> sometimes like not a very not full full guy not all guys playing because some championships ends uh, later than 
championship starts, but I don't know, it's not very good time for national team now. But we think, I think, like we can improve, and I don't know. Next next tournament is in Lithuania, so probably all the spectators waiting for medals. Yeah, well, we'll see. Maybe the home games make the team uh, push an extra effort as well. Yeah, maybe. Well, how about your personal goals for this upcoming season in the TPS team? I, w I just want to help the team every game, play hard and, I don't know, maybe win championship or something. I just want to do my best and help the team. Well, how do you think, what are your best sides as a hockey player? Like my best size is better. Ask ask the coach, you know. Okay, I will. I, I, I don't know what's my best size, what's my worst size. Like maybe I can work on skating, shooting, but I don't know. I'll talk with my coach about it. Yeah, I'll, I'll talk to him as well. Charles, how about you? What is your contribution to the TPS team? Oh well, uh, I'm really motivated uh, like that as to help the best I can and. Uh, I think uh, we are really uh, ambitious and uh, we, we're going to get ourselves ready. We have pretty good shape already. Now we have one month to get ready for the first, first game of the season. It's, it's a long season, so it's important to uh, work hard uh, every day and uh, be focused. Okay, what is the best Charles Bertrand that you give in to the team? What are you doing? What are your best sides? Uh, well, I think I can uh, bring my, my energy and uh, I like to, to play offense and forward, so I like to skate, skates a lot, and uh, maybe I should uh, play it more simple sometimes too, so I will fo focus on it and uh, play simple and uh, working, working hard using skating and playing with the guys.